There is a place where the land is disappearing faster than anywhere else in the world. We lose a football field every hour, every day. Where the ocean closes in over the earth. I think we have eight years left. But with this advance of the waters, what will become of the way of life for people living in the path of real-time climate change? We're just a hurricane away from being totally annihilated. What was once a thriving community, now only water. We're motoring above downtown Leeville, right on the southern tip of Louisiana. It lies submerged 30 feet below us. And what happened here could be what lies in store for the whole of this region as land continues to be claimed by the sea. This is Bayou Lafouche, part of the delta system of the mighty Mississippi, one of the great rivers of the world and an American icon. Follow the bayou along Highway 1 towards the Gulf of Mexico and you'll find what's left of Leeville above water level. Here too, the remnants of the French-speaking Cajun communities, the first arrived here in the 18th century, evicted by the British from Canada. The first Cajuns took on these vast wetlands, finding freedom and independence in this harsh but hugely fertile terrain. The marshes became home and remain home to their descendants today. I'm uh, in, in one line, seven generations, another line, five generations in coastal Louisiana. Wendell Curell is the general manager of the South Lafouche Levy District. I'm the first generation that learned English before French. His family's journey through the generations reflects the Cajun experience in southern Louisiana, a fragile existence in a delicate environment. These waters are their lifeblood. We're here because of the water. We're here because the water, it, it, it feeds us. But it is also their nemesis. The generations of people in Louisiana have been retreating and we're gonna keep on retreating until we, uh, to the point of stability. The problem today is that nobody really knows where that vanishing point lies. It's only with a bird's eye view that you get a real sense of the scale of the loss. There's a lot going on down there. Pollution, dredging, channeling, oil exploration, land loss throwing global warming, and you've got a pretty perilous cocktail. And as a man who's flown over these marshlands and wetlands for many years, how does it make you feel when you see uh, such a changing landscape? Well, it, it, it's something that has to be addressed, but unfortunately, we'll never correct this in our lifetime. The Cajuns are used to battling hurricanes. They've done it for generations. But the destruction seen today in the wetlands is a far more dangerous threat. The risk of living here is increasing day by day. At one time, these waters were completely blanketed in green, a natural defense against storm surges. Through the years, deep channels were cut for commercial navigation and oil pipelines. With that, more and more salt water began flowing into the wetlands, poisoning the entire ecosystem of the natural marshlands. The results? Well, for decades, the land has been sinking. Recently, the rate has fluctuated between 30 to 50 square kilometers a year. Today, that totals almost 7,000 square kilometers, an area larger than some US states has disappeared. And now, experts are predicting that as global warming brings stronger and more violent hurricanes and rising sea levels, the rate of land loss will only accelerate. In the past, the Mississippi used to deposit billions of tons of sediment into the vast wetlands, but no longer. Levees built to protect against cyclical flooding instead channel all the sediment out to sea, starving the marshlands. The way this place was nourished was through the Mississippi River, the water and the sediments from the river. And uh, we, don't, we didn't allow that flooding anymore, so you have this expansive delta that basically its nourishment was cut off, much like a heart attack. When, when a vessel gets clogged and you can't get the nutrients to the different parts of the heart muscle. Windle takes us to a small tidal gauge on the eastern end of Highway 1. 
The system measures the speed at which the waters of the Gulf of Mexico consume the surrounding land. The monthly increases are microscopic, narrower than a single strand of hair. But climate scientists believe they indicate something dire. The more we wait, the more places it'll be too late. The fact of the matter is, 10 years is gonna to be too late for a lot of areas. It's not only losing the future, it's losing the past. It could be that right here, one of the first major stories in the age of global warming is being written. The obituary for southeast Louisiana. Once flourishing oak and cypress trees like these quickly die as salt water intrudes. Ghost trees drowned, seen as nature's tombstones. Here too, electric poles, once on solid ground, now rotting in the water. In Leeville, and in other towns along the bayou, even the dead aren't spared. A poignant reminder of a community that has disappeared. For those who remain, the rapid change and sense of loss runs deep. At one time, this was all land. This was farmland. They raised sugarcane and rice. They had plantations, big plantations. All those are gone now. Captain Bobby Brown has been running the Leeville dock for four decades. In front of him now is only water. The people who lived here, distant memories. They trapped and they hunted for a living. They swept and they caught oysters. And now this was fresh water. Now it's salt water. It's a shame. It's a shame to lose what so many people that was born and raised here their heritage, you know, it was, it was their way of life. They, they made a living off the land and off the resources, off of nature, and it's gone. That's gone. As the fresh water turns to salt water, ecological changes swiftly follow. And with that, a profound impact on the lives and livelihoods of the Cajuns, especially for those in the shrimping industry. The estuaries are the food base of every species between here and the Gulf. It, it all starts in the marshes. So once we lose our marshes, the food base erodes and everything else just, just goes. Louisiana shrimp need the freshwater marshes to mature before heading out into the Gulf. Now they're running out of room. As a consequence, the fishing season is increasingly shorter. Coupled with an influx of cheaper, foreign-bred shrimp saturating the U.S. market, local fishermen have nowhere to turn. That's one thing about the shrimpers now. They, they're a resilient bunch, and they work hard, and uh, they just have to work harder for less money. But uh, like I said, it's just getting tougher and tougher. The economics you know, are getting worse, you know, it seems like, every year for these guys, and it's, uh, it's a struggle. Add to that more than $300 million in damage caused to the local industry by the last two hurricanes alone, and these fishing boom towns of years gone by have all but gone bust. At 2 p.m. every day, at what they call the Cajun Garden, alongside Highway 1, a group of old friends gather. They still speak the Patois French of their ancestors. <laughs> but gone are the days as masters of the bayou. Instead, they collect cans for a few extra dollars. So things must have changed a lot in his lifetime. Vous avez vu un grand changement de le monde, le temps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ouais. Hey, beau. On ne connaît pas comment ça va venir, tu connais, I don't know. He says it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's sad, uh, it makes him real sad. He sees the, the land being uh, well, eaten up or, or, or going away, uh, subsiding, and uh, doesn't know how, how much worse it's going to keep going. These old timers are pretty much all that's left of the Cajun existence on the bayou. When we come back, we'll examine just how southern Louisiana got to this point, and if anything can be done to reverse the damage to the environment, to the community, and to a way of life. 
I don't think it's going to work, you know. I don't see how they would recover from it. It was all in the name of progress. We destroyed a way of life in doing so. And, and I hate it.